You know what time it is? It's time to take a nap. But before that, we're gonna slay the spire. Yeah, I took the frozen core, right? Wait, oh! For some reason, I thought we were going into Act 3. Uh, what do we do? What, do we, what does our deck do? Mmm. 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 -hmm. Make a decent number of orbs. Can upgrade dual cast. Excuse me. Zap is the only card that can cause zero that makes an orb. Like, 90% sure on that. If I had a data disk, although that's like four free block at minimum. Alright. I think mean, we've got a free zap. We might need a little bit more. We got Doom and Gloom. Hmm. So we gotta fight the automaton. How am I feeling about Act 2 Elites? Not swell. Corsair is pretty good against a lot of the Act 2 hallway fights, though. You can st I'm assuming you draw it early enough, you can stop Vulnerable in the Slaver's fight. You can stop Hex from the Chosen. You can stop Confused from Sneko. You can stop Frail from the big orb. Oh, what the hecko? It's a Sneko. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. There, there are really only three bonfires the whole way up? And the only way to get two of them is to also fight the super elite. That's pretty obnoxious. So we do we do something like this, and then oh I don't even know. One elite seems a bit sparse, but two elites seems dudely, if you know what I mean. We do have a fossilized helix. It's a lot of free block. I suppose the real problem with All for One is it costs two energy. We're getting eight block? Alright. If I do it like this, then I don't have to. Oh no, we're getting. Wait. Okay, yeah, no, no. I was right. Eight block. Man! Can you imagine how fucking good Frozen Core would be if it just gave you a Frost Orb every turn? And it would just rotate stuff? How bad do I want next turn to be? Preferably not that bad. Do I need the Steam Barrier here? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can take one damage. Wait, no, I won't even take one damage. Yeah, I don't need the Steam Barrier at all. That Claw, though. It's like I'm not even playing the other cards. Get 10 block, take 3. We do have this Gremlin Horn. Which does quite a bit for us against uh, Gremlin Leader. And then he just dies. Cool. I don't think I want any of these. Okay. Shelled Parasite. He also likes to put the Frail on my body. So it'll be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I should just Steam Barrier here. We need like one or two more Claws, I think, before All for One can be really worth it, and maybe a Recursion Plus for the Dark Orbs. Hmm. 
yeah, that gets me more than enough block as is. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we're already full blocking, okay. I think maybe I underestimated how much value we could get out of these frost orbs. I'm back down to nine, so we're already full blocking, so I don't even need the steam barrier. This is gonna tick up. I didn't play the core surge though. Oh, there it is. No block. That's kind of unfortunate. Could pop this for 20. F Hold up. Do I have lethal? I might have lethal. 24 and then tw yeah Never mind. We're perfectly fine. Didn't need the block. He was dead Nope, nope Bunch of gold mm, special relic get jaxed No, we'll just we'll just take the mutagen We have no powers in our deck. Hmm. I guess I'm removing a card. <laughs> yeah. Not much else worth doing here, unfortunately. Do we go for the double elite? Oh my fucking god. Nope. Not anymore. Cool. Thanks for gotten altar. A real pal. Puts me up to 67. What would I upgrade here? Probably dual cast. That just goes up by four. Yeah. All f what? I'm not sure what's supposed to be. Oh, he's like going through the folders and he's that. That's the zero cost folder. Gotcha. The one, two, three, and five for meteor strike because there are no four cost cards. Uh, at least not for- no, 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 that's not true. Force field. Force field's a four-cost card. Yep, we're gonna nap. And then we're going to die to Bronze Automaton. Because our deck's not gonna be good enough. Never get that turn one. Is it worth using a potion here? Probably not. I was gonna say, never get that turn one all for one. However, with the confusion, that can potentially work in our favor. It's not much point in playing the glacier here, because I'm gonna get by the by the next turn I'm going to have the same number of frost orbs anyway. Hitting me for ten A. Eh? Hold up, if I do this. I'm already I'm already just full blocking, so we're fine. Yeah, if I could get like a runic capacitor, that would be pretty cool. I am already vulnerable. Look at that. That's 8 plus 5 is 13. May as well just steam barrier. Mmm, got rid of the weak. Cool. Speaking of weak. So, I hmm, wasn't lucky there with the order I drew the card in order. Fuck, man. Did he, did he debuff attack me three times in a row? And then, and then on the turn when he big attacks, it's, uh, it's like this, huh? This is how it is. He's weakened, too. Fuck me. Yeah, upgrading dual cast, because then we get another frost orb for free. I think I just cold snap strike. I'll strike plus. Yikes. Oh, uh, Fossilized Celix. Wow, fuck me. Like, absolute shit. If only all for one were free. Um. 
Well, hold up. That's 10 block. What is this? That's another 8 block. 18 block. Plus Glacier. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. And I get 7 damage. Oh, whoops. Uh... <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Just, just overblocked it by, by a smidge. By a teensy bit. No biggie. Actual damage? I like it. Uh, may as well not make steam barriers smaller if I don't have to. Uh, not that that dark orb is actively damaging him, but... I fucking... This fucking claw is never getting played. <sighs> punch, punch. Five. We're at 11 block right now. Yeah. Just full block it. Excuse me. There's his big move. We're at nine? Yikes. Oh. So what, I've taken... No, that was it, right? It's just the 11, because the first seven got cancelled by the Helix. If I recall. Just kill him. Thank you. Well, that was rough. If only you were recursion. Ah, uh, Blizzard might go away. Go away, malware bites. Blizzard might be what we're looking for. This potential scaling. I mean, if I had a turnip, I might take it, but I don't, so I won't. I was gonna say in before turnip. Ah, oh, blue candle could have done something a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna take the key. Unless we get like completely hammered by these next two fights, I'm probably going for that elite. Oh yeah, the extra three strength. Uh, what are we at? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Cool. Oh, right. Plus the other. Okay. That's all right, I suppose. That's all my defense. Hmm. Hmm. This could be rough. This could be rough. Two zero cost cards in there. What's our block at? Eight. Ooh. All right, a little bit of damage. No problem. No biggie. I can handle it. I actually get enough block. Ten. Yeah, if I do this. Grab the all for one. Don't actually need to steam barrier here. Perfect. The other thing is um, we can use the hologram plus to grab blizzard black. Blizzard back? Hmm. I've really only channeled three? I guess I have. Hmm. Okay. I did it that way so I could get the extra frost orb at the end of turn. Kill him? Nice. Um, what would I hologram for here? 
All for one? Yeah. Gotta scale that claw. So we've got we've got two like <laughs> generally not great attacks that happen to be the entire deck scaling. Play the glacier there because it'll scale uh, Blizzard. So Blizzard needs an upgrade. Do I take a second to Blizzard? I need. I gotta. Do we just skip this elite so that I don't have to nap? Hmm. Well, I mean, unlikely to be a claw deck, especially since we haven't seen another claw. It keeps being go for the eyes instead. I don't think we take the dream catcher. What about seek? Seek seems good. Seek seems like a card that would help us out. I'm gonna take the Seek. Alright, so... I guess the hope is that this is Gremlin Leader and that I can Gremlin Horn my way to victory? I have a weak potion. I need just like a little bit more frost generation. Or orb slots. We can't get Runic Capacitor, that's a shop only. So, I can get Glacier, I can get Cool Headed, I can get Chill, I can get Cold Snap. Okay, okay, we might be able to do something. He is attacking me, like, right away. I don't like this. Oh, right, we're buffed! Okay, so I can kill the front boy. Um, maybe I should kill the back boy, though. Before he becomes too big a problem. Alright, alright, alright. Oh! I was just playing it for funsies. Fuck me. Because, you know... Wait, what did I- Oh! Got- Right! Mutagenic Strength plus Core Surge. Right, that is a combo. I think I just like kill this idiot? Cool. Start building that bad boy up. Yeah, if we could get a capacitor here, that would also be super cool. What could I grab? Go for the eyes, claw, zap. Eight, hold up, fifteen. Fifteen plus nine. That's exactly twenty-four, but I don't think I can let this guy hit me. So throw that there. Oh right, Gremlin. Gremlin. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I'm keeping him down. I'm keeping him down. I'm gonna do that, because I'm still gonna get the frost orb, and I'm gonna start doubling this dark orb. I think dual cat. No, it's not in the deck. Well, we're about to draw seek, so mm. that's a lot of damage. Seek for glacier, and that's it. Yeah, that's that's what I got. I get just as much block from playing Cold Snap, and I also get 12 damage. So I'm gonna do that one. Okay, 4 damage is not terrible. Man, I might not be able to upgrade these blizzards. Uh, it's not a prospect I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the thought of. It's got a little bit extra damage on it. I never, I never get the blizzard, like... Or the Doom and Gloom when there's dudes? The last blizzard was 17 damage. It's a lot of damage. Oh, 
Hold up. Excuse me. 9 plus 17 is 26. I'd need another 9 damage to kill him. 17 damage does get me a Gremlin Horn proc, you're right. Yeah. Mmm. Not really what I was looking for. Oh. We dual cast the frost orb. So we're going to go up to 22 block. 28 block. Yeah, killing this guy prevents more damage. Oh, and. Still not lethal. Okay. Well, that was honestly a pretty reasonable gremlin leader fight. Mm, Pendant might. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that we want some card draw, maybe. I think I can take Compile Driver. Oh. Well, now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can dig- I can dig what's going on here. At least more than I could with what was going on before. Still gotta take six damage. Oh, no, I don't. Fossilize, Helix. Okay, and now we aren't going to- Oh, we're already frail. Fuck. Really, that's the order that happens in. It's good to know. What do I have here? I've got eight block. Eight plus nine is like 17. Should full block it? Well, not full block it. One away from full block. Okay, so I should have killed him with a... So I should have hit him with the core surge. Killed him with a different card. Yeah. I can grab Claw, Steam Barrier, Zap. That's 31 damage. Or I can Hologram for Glacier. Which will get me... That won't be 7 block. That'll be 5. So between that and that, that's 8 block. Plus 10. That's 18 plus 4. Four? Ooh, that's nine damage. Do I have a better plan? Not really. Oh. Must have math mathed wrong somewhere. What do I want to seek for? Well, let's play that first. I do need a little bit of block, but I can draw stuff first. Hmm. My only- I have like Hologram, Steam Barrier, and Glacier, and every other block card is just a, a basic defend. Huh. No charge batteries, no leaps, no force fields. Though I don't take force field that often anyway. If I dual cast, I go up to 8 block. Sure. Dual cast. Grab me. Hologram. Hologram, go for the eyes. Keep them weak. Uh, that was right, right? Yeah, eight. And then I gained the five from Hologram. Perfect. All right, here we go. So I've already got eight blocks, so I can just like punch them and punch them. It's not triggering the, uh, the blizzard. It's not scaling the blizzard, but at least I can get through his stupid, whatchamacallit. Ooh. It's reasonable. 
Yeah, we don't do damage very fast. Not until Blizzard starts getting big. God damn it all for one. Got six block, so we do this. Cool. I was about to say out loud, he hasn't put uh, Frail on me in a little while, and then... You know. Do one of these. One of those. Oh wait, he's doing 15 damage. Five. That's going to be... Eight? That's 13. Alright, fine. Fine, we'll do it your way. The way where I don't take damage. I guess that's a pretty reasonable way. Continue. Then I just killed him. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Hiya. All right. Uh, Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom for the pen nib. Pen nib. Doom and Gloom. I got it. Uh, can't kill that boy. Do this. See, I wish I could, yeah. If dual cast were free, I'd be much more happy. Rhyming. That's what we do here. Hmm. I get back steam barrier and zap. But it also means I get to kill him, so... Oh, and I draw a card. And I get an energy. Interesting. How big is Blizzard? I have no idea. I didn't play the capacitor. That's already in my graveyard, so it was a hologram. What would I seek for here? Got 15 block. Doing 22 damage. Go for the eyes! No. Should be something that costs energy. It's like grab core surge. Get to punching. Take two damage. That's fine. Yeah, that'll just hit everybody. This is all attacks. This is all attacks all the time. Do I have lethal? Got him. Perfect. Uh, regen pod is pretty nice. Do I think I just take take a charge battery because I could use some block guards, some real ones. Man, if I had a toxic egg, recursion plus. Because rec recursion plus, if you hit it with a frost orb, it counts as a channeled frost orb for um for Blizzard. So it actually worked out pretty well. But I don't. I need to upgrade the Blizzards first. They get fifty percent better. That's... okay. I'd also like to upgrade capacitors. So that we already have like three, four cards that want to be upgraded. Give me the charge battery. I've got 15 health right here that puts us at 41. That's risky. But if I don't do it, what are the chances that I even kill him at all? We've got five warp slots now. Which increases our block by quite a bit over the turns. I think I might be able to get away with it. Okay. Especially if we can line up some good pen nibs. Nice. That's a reasonably good pen nib. Okay. I already played Glacier, didn't I? Is so there any way I can get 24 block? Twelve plus eight and get twenty. Hmm. 
I mean, ideally, the Fossilized Steelix would eat his, uh... Yeah, I know, Seek Hologram Glacier, that only gets me 20. It gets me 12 from just the, the block, and then... 8 from the Frost Orbs. Because I'm trying not to... I'm trying to see if there's a way I can preserve the Fossilized Helix until a bigger hit. Yeah, Gremlin Horn works in this fight. I mean, these guys have like 57 and 59 health, so it's not something I can really worry about that much here. Don't know what order these two attack in either. Yeah, I should probably just prevent the damage. And it takes out my blizzards, so that's a plus. Mmm! I don't think they debuff me at all, so. Channel three frost orbs? Alright, let's do one of these. Uh, yeah. It's not great damage, but. Okay. Ooh, hmm. That one's kind of important. Well. That's my turn. <laughs> 22 blocks, not bad. It's 30 damage, though, so we're gonna take 8. He's gonna do his big boy move next turn. Do that just so we get another frost orb. I haven't killed either of them. Yep, there it is. Play every card in my hand. Sounds like the plan. Ooh. Hey, look what I got. And then if I do it again... Hey, look what I got. Hooray! <laughs> then I got to pen nib it. Okay, and I gained more block because of the, uh, cold snap. Jesus. Don't think I all for one here. I think I want to... Crank. I want to crank the blizzards. They're my only hope. They're a better hope than all for one and claw. Uh... Boy, that's a lot of damage. Kinda wanna play the cold snap. But, I get more block if I do it like this. Am I dead? Yeah, that was actually exact lethal. Yeah, I didn't think we were gonna make it through Bronze Automaton. Not with how much damage we took in, like, the last chunk. Like, our blizzard plan. <laughs> like, I was just scrambling for, like, something. Something. To try to put together, and it was too little too late. Okay. We could do something with enemies in the next three combats. If I go to the shop, that's a guarantee that that's not a fight, so I only have to go through two question marks. Then we get a free elite, like a bonfire elite, bonfire elite. Get three elites out of the act. I think I like that better than a random rare. Sure. Give me your lament. Aha, bitch. Thought you could sneak up on me and both attack me at the same time? Not today. What do you got? Hmm, there's a Reaper here. Do we do we just like take a Reaper right now? I'm gonna just take a Reaper right now. Ooh, one HP! Got it. That's a good card. 
Okay. Do it. Didn't hit the uppercut. Unfortunate. Uppercut and anger probably would have been the best do there. Nope. See you later, Snake Boy. Okay, cool. So we got our free fight. Hold up. I want to get that Reaper value, that 1 HP. Oh, wait, I gotta hold up. Shoot. Is it 4? There we go. Ancient T set, Liquid Bronze. Um, I think I'll take our first Shockwave over our second Uppercut. I think I want to upgrade an uppercut. Yeah, let's upgrade an uppercut. Don't really need to upgrade Shockwave until like boss fights. Well, I guess some of the Act 3 elites can actually take that long. I have 5 energy. I think I'm fine taking 2 damage here in order to try and get the kill off faster. And then getting through his artifact means if I draw an uppercut or a Shockwave. Ooh. Ooh. Reaper is 12 health. Can I kill him, though? Um, let's see. 13 damage. He goes down to 9. Yeah, that kills him. It's like I gain 12, take 20. That's actually a net gain of... Uh, or a net loss of 8. Whereas this is a net loss of 10. But I can play this later. And not killing him now will likely have ramifications further into the fight, so we'll just do it now. Okie dokie. So long as I get it to like heal eight at least, preferably. Hmm. We're getting close. I'm gonna draw my uppercut before Reaper and then he's just gonna have to die. Oh, hey. Well, I got 8 health out of it. That's not too bad. I'm pretty much okay with uh, napping at the next bonfire. Yeah. It's like... You don't really need to upgrade Bash when you have an upgraded uppercut and a shockwave in your deck. You're, you're getting enough vulnerable. Hmm. It puts a vulnerable on and not the weak. Interesting. Means I might kill? No. But we're probably not taking any damage for the rest of the fight. Looking at the top of the deck, yeah, that seems likely. Excuse me. Runic Dodecahedron. Do we try to make use out of that Thunderclap? Thunderclap plus Reaper. Although we already have a Shockwave. So I don't think we need it. Use some scaling though. Uppercut's not bad to have turn one. You can apply weak and vulnerable, sure. I'm also sort of incentivized to nap because of Runic Dodecahedron as well. Can you imagine if we had 6 energy turn 1? Oh baby. I guess I just Reaper now. There's like no better time to do it. That was pretty good. Went through almost half his health right away. Ooh, to Shockwave or not to Shockwave? I think I Shockwave. I think the fact that he stays weak for the rest of the fight makes it worth it. Yeah. And then also vulnerable. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Bludgeon. Bludgeon. Immolate? Shockwave Immolate. That's a pair of cards. Bludgeon's also a big boy. Unless we get, like, completely hammered in these next two hallway fights, I'm probably not napping at the next bonfire. Ugh. My nose is so itchy. 
Excuse me. Blue gin. Oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Nah, that's dumb. I think I'm taking the Immolate though. It's really good in Act 2. Ooh. Take an Insect. And then, if all of our relics suck, but one of them's Black Star, I might be able to make something work with Black Star. Do I want a headbutt? Not particularly. Alright. Really? That's double louse? This late into the act? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. This is like... Actual floor one stuff. I have to take damage here. That makes me angry. I have to take damage against double louse. Four damage. Double louse on floor 13. It's cursed. Shockwave again? No. We we'll probably just upgrade that shockwave. I don't think we will though. We've got... Between shockwave and uppercut, we've got a decent amount of... Uh, weak and vulnerable. You're at 47. You split at 34. So I can just split you now. Alright. 10 damage. How about... Oh. No, I couldn't have Reapered first. That would have been 4 energy. We are fighting Hexaghost, so I think maybe I drink one Liquid Bronze here, and then... Ooh. Save the other one for the future. Well, we have more health now than we did when I said we're probably not resting, so we're probably not resting. Upgrade Disarm. Upgrade Disarm. Okay, let's fight the big boy! Mr. McHexaghost. It's a pretty good one to pen him, too. And let us not forget to drink our potion. To have our slurp. Ooh, that's, uh... Weakened and minus three strength. That's embarrassing. Not gonna lie. Let's keep the, the vulnerability train rolling. May not have needed to dr drink one of those. Well, he's vulnerable, so... I think I'd rather... Oh, wait. What? Right. I still have the energy anyway. I was gonna say, I think I'd rather take the damage and deal the damage here. And then turn so that I could just... I could have just not taken the damage and dealt the damage. Get that pen nib set up. Did I already Reaper? Yeah. Hmm. Would have liked it to hit uppercut, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Or can they? I wouldn't know. I don't make the rules. I don't even know the rules. How do you play this game? Who, who's, whose video game is it anyway? Alright. Give me that immolate. And we should have a win. Immolate. Farts. Alright, I guess I'll just... Like, nearly full block it and kill him next turn? That's fine. Uh, we do- oh, never mind. Dang it! <sighs> we could have played one more attack to kill him and then have Pendib at 9 for the next fight for our uppercut. There was, like, no victory music. I mean, Feed and Reaper are both good with the same stuff, but we don't have the stuff that they're good with yet. So I think I'm gonna take an Impervious. I did say if the others are bad, there's Blackstar, but there's a Velvet Choker here. And I think that's the one I want. We've already got a lot of two-cost stuff. There's like anger, but... Rip Blackstar. 
Black Star plus Preserved Insect. Joker's too good. Collector. Alright, well, fortunately, we've got Immolate and Shockwave. So that can deal with his boys pretty decently. We need some strength. How are we feeling? We don't have very good card draw. In fact, we have none in the deck. If I had a little bit better card draw, I'd feel really good about Gremlin Leader, because Immolate would just kill all his boys every time. Excuse me. We have one Disarm Plus, which is pretty good against Stab Hand. Knocks him down to four damage per stab. Cuts it almost in half. And we have an Impervious as well. I, I think we do reasonably well in all three of the fights. Oh, and we have a Preserved Insect. It's even better. Ooh. These paths are not... I'm not digging them. You get one bo Bonfire, two Elites. One Bonfire, three Elites. If I had meat on the bone, I might go for this. Where are the shops? Well, that's... Hmm. For one bonfire, two elites? I think that's the plan. Unfortunately. Hmm. Alright. Make sure to get the pen nib. There we go. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Um... Plays the vulnerable. Oh, I can, I can do this and then double defend. Yeah. <laughs> exact block. I like it. Thanks, impervious. Hmm. Disarm. And then I can weaken him. Exact block. Okay. Uh, I want, this has gone pretty well. He's still vulnerable, right? So I can just kill him. Gained health. Palm Strike does draw a card. I don't think that's the kind of card draw we're looking for. Could use some block cards. I picked up zero. Well, I picked up Impervious and Disarm. And weak sources. So they're kind of holding us in there. I mean, I'm only missing three health right now. I'm gonna wait on the Reaper. Ooh, got my pen nib ready. Immolate? Nope. Alright, well, may as well bash him. Keep the vulnerable up and get the most value out of the pen nib there. Still no Immolate. Immolate will actually kill him. So I'm gonna play this impervious. Oh wait, I'm weakened. Emily might kill him. Are you? <sighs> really? Really? I better draw a Reaper and just get that one HP back. <sighs> but. Fine. That? I could have been- Ooh, We're in a dodecahedron! We're close. We're so close. Oh, had I gotten that one health. That one health from Reaper. Ooh, I like a special relic. Although, I might like Jax even better. I'm gonna get Jaxed. Because we can heal it back. Um, what's the upgrade? Yeah, once we upgrade it, we break even with Reaper. Like, we, we lose the health, gain the strength, and then Reaper, and then get all the health back. Plus four. 
Nowhere near Pennib. Uh, definitely Jaxing first. So that that bad boy needs an upgrade. We also have um, Liquid Bronze for Book of Stabbing. Anchor costs one. Gross. Oh, the strength. I was like, why is it doing that much damage? Um, I think I'll wait on that one. Okay. Oh, no, I couldn't have reapered. Oh, wait, wait, no. The anger cost one. Had the anger cost zero. Whatever. Whatever. I want to do this one. And then murder? Cool. Ooh, you're making me pick between Whirlwind and Battle Trance. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, we have a Jax, which makes Whirlwind really good. I'm taking the Trance. Nope. I'm not gonna nap here, we're only missing like 11 health. Upgrade, upgrade the Jax. Okay, what do we got? So tiny. Um, hmm. This at least lets me, like, kill the first two right away. I feel like I want a bigger Reaper than that. Okay, so the first couple of turns have not been amazing. There's still an Immolate in the deck. Perfect. Uh, draw me a Jax or something. That doesn't quite kill this idiot. In fact, he's also hitting me. Which is annoying. I guess I'll block. I'll kill this guy next turn. Hmm, I actually ran into Velvet Choker. Look at that. Okay. 10 damage so far, plus the 3 from Reaper. Damn it. Well, I should probably just do it now. 14, knocks him down to 12. Then I just, like, win the fight, heal a bunch. Cool. Mercury Hourglass. <sighs> considering, considering the Runic Dodecahedron, I think the Regen Pot is actually better here. Interesting. Oh, for, I was like, wait, is he fighting the shopkeep? No, he's fighting Blue Slaver. Yeah, like, we obviously lose HP from Jax, but it's, it just doesn't do anything interesting or worthwhile for us. It does damage. We have lots of cards that do damage. So, I don't care that much. Regen Pot here. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple dazes. Oh, and the runic hourglass did the did the job for us. I like it. Mm, we're not gonna be able to reaper most of this back. Because it has to be unblocked damage. Okay. Take a bit of damage, it's fine. Um, well, Disarm's not going to do a whole lot here now, is it? May as well just play it. Hmm. Oop, clicked outside the window. Get five health back, at least. Health is still pretty good. Take Flame Barrier? Because it's another card that says block on it? Yeah. I like Orchalcum. Uh. Immolate, immolate, immolate. Shit. We're on Pendib right now, so immolate would do. would do a whole bunch of damage. Especially if I could. if I pulled Immolate Shockwave. 
because immolate's what 21 it become 42 it would become 63 yeah it would just win the fight um all right we can also heal a whole bunch off of uh what you call it reaper just strength down this guy and then keep the punch keep the punches coming May as well just save the impervious, I can full block. Just playing those two. All vulnerable, so this should get me. It gets me to full. Kill the one doing more damage, obviously. Take three. And then win the fight, and then go to full health. Have Runic Dodecahedron active. Feel no pain. I don't have. I have three cards that exhaust themselves, four cards that exhaust themselves. Okay. Upgrade all strikes and defends, please. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. I didn't want to spend a bunch of money because we we're Haha! -ha! Why spend why spend sixty gold or however much on three potions when I can spend two hundred and nine gold on five? Seems bad. There's a Vajra. I think I take it. We need some other way to, to scale. If I had Rupture, because then Jax would actually give me four strength. Okay, actually just buy the Vajra. What about these potions? We are fighting another elite, so I think what we have is fine here. Um, do... Wait, oh, did I? Was there a rupture there? Am I, am I that big a doofus? Oh, shit. Hmm. Wow. I didn't even see it. My, my eyes just like... Like, laser focusing on feel no pain. Hmm. No, rupture might have been better. There was a combust earlier that I didn't take. What are we removing? Nothing? We can probably still remove a strike plus. Yeah. Bah! Bah! Yeah. Ooh. Start with so low health and Mercury Hourglass. Again, just like shockwave, shockwave immolate. Kind of wish that immolate were the one that was bottled. Can I full block this? Twenty-eight. What are they doing? Nope. Thirty. I think I still do it though. I get seven damage on all of them. Or six, whatever. I don't know how much damage I'm taking. Do one of these. Kill this idiot. Okay. Um. Give me that Reaper. Cool. Reaper Immolate for the win? God damn it. No Jax either. Uh, Reaper Impervious and then Immolate next turn for the win. Ooh, baby. Yep. 
Wow, that fight went really well. We've got the runic doi decahedron. Ornamental fan. I think those ones are well. Yeah, I don't want any of these. No. I don't know how we do here. Upgrade flame barrier? No, we're it's it's time to upgrade shockwave. All right, big boy. Can't really use this entropic brew before using the liquid bronze, though. I mean, I could. Seven energy. Lordy. Those burns could eventually become a problem. I really didn't want immolate opening hand like that. Uh, well, I guess I'm casting feel no pain. And then feeling some pain. Neat. Senders Bane for a deflect, I guess. Well, I think I want to wait on this Reaper. There we go. This way, I take no damage. <laughs> Oh hey, Jax and Jax again. I like it. Cool. I could have just immolated and killed this idiot, couldn't I? Hmm. Alright. Now we're hit with everything. Which is not a great thing to be hit with, FYI. Obviously pen nib there. Full block. More than full block. Thanks, Feel No Pain and Ornamental Fan. Work your hourglass getting work done. It's like 12 health. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. It's a lot of damage. I was hoping he'd resummon. Well. a little late just like play corruption now still taking all this damage but if he does that again don't have to worry about it oh GG battle trance goodbye this is not oh am I on pen nib so this is like yeah you know what fine Reaper for 24 that's fine Oh, I can just kill him. Hey, well, that wasn't too bad. That's what we want. Do we need cards at this point? Headbutt, headbutt, corruption, headbutt and corruption. <laughs> Maybe a second battle trance, maybe some shrug it offs. Yeah, we could definitely see some cards. And besides, on five energy, we're uh ooh, fuck. Um woo. So then what do we do? I'm not gonna Pandora's box. Not when they're all upgraded. Omomori, why? Why do why why do I never have Omomori when it's useful? I get it in like from an act like three elite. It might be the mythical skip. Had I taken that whirlwind, I might be more inclined to get the uh the busted crown. Because X cost spells plus energy equals plus strength equals winning. Wow, yeah, we might actually just skip it. It's skip or calling bell. 
I've only removed one card. The deck might be big enough to handle three curses. I don't get to dictate the path I go to because we have to fight the big boy. That's a skip. Wait. Hey, Wumbo Cat, how's it going? I didn't know this is how this worked. Can I, like, reload the floor and get different ones? Pandora's is... How much blocks do we have? We have Flame Barrier, Feel No Pain, and Impervious. That's it. That's how much block we have. Remember, it does. it's not Astrolabe. It doesn't upgrade them. It only transforms them. If it transformed and upgraded them, I might consider it. But... No. Defend pluses are, like, reasonable. Strike pluses are, like, whatever. If I could just transform the strike pluses, I think I'd do it. But I can't. I gotta get rid of the defend pluses. Okay, Donu deck is first. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Refill my water. It would have been kind of interesting just to see what Calling Bell might have given us. Oh, boy, boy, boy! Eating food? What kind of food are you eating, Wimbo Kit? Okay. Hit the shop. Try to grab a corruption. Chicken patties. I don't know what a chicken patty is. Like, like chicken burgers? Like burger patties made of chicken? Or like chicken nuggets or yeah I don't, I don't know what a chicken patty is um okay where do we have to go we have to go this way I mean it's two at least two bonfires but the bonfires are after chicken burgers gotcha or are you eating just the patties I gotta do four floor fights and oh boy well I mean there's no point even figuring out how we do against, uh, oh shit, I can't upgrade this until after we fight the elites? The, f the treasure chest is after both elites. Are you joking? Bread in the works, gotcha. This, this is chattable. This is chattable. <laughs> I don't like this. Because I was like, well, maybe, maybe... I could like try to swing it and just like pray that I get wing boots from like the chest or something and then hop over. That's how much I really don't want to do. Oh my god, they're all hitting me. Turn one? All of them. Yeah, this route, th yeah, yeah. You said it, Wumbo Cat, this route is butts and this fight is butts. It's like 35 damage, turn one. I have no block cards in my hand. I can play Feel No Pain and Reaper. Hold up. Oh my god, this this is how I'm preventing damage. That was it. Gained health and blocks for nine. That was my big play. Oh boy. That was atrocious. I don't ever want to see any of you again. Go away. Headbutt, headbutt. I can't... I'm gonna have to play Jax like two or three times. Well, that's not true. You can play Jax once. And then... Really, all three of you assholes are attacking me too. I'm not sure we're gonna win this one. I think RNGesus... 
I think he's displeased with me for something. God damn it. I was doing that because I was like, ah, this is only two block over Orich Alchem, and then... Oh, my ornamental fan. Okay. The game plan... Is to full heal off of this fight. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. That's the game plan. Is to hit like, to hit like 50 strength and just like slap them all, or half that and pen nib a reaper and just slap them all to death. So it's it's going to get easier and easier to do. Um, since as I gain strength, it's going to be easier to just kill them straight up. Um, they come back at half health. Which means if I catch all three of them, that's like 70-something health. If I immolate, how much block do I need? Like 13? Yeah. Okay. Did I take that headbutt? I took that headbutt, right? I did. I did take the headbutt. Not gonna limit break yet. Just get the feel no pain out of the deck for now. I can't I, I can't use um emulate too much because of the burns. Huh, this is not great at all. Excuse me. Jax is in here? Jax is in here. Ooh, shit. Twenty-six... plus ten... Kill you instead, and reduce the damage. Give me that Jax. Well, that's actually less block. God damn it. Ah, oh, ornamental fan. We gotta give up a bonfire, too. That's gonna be rough. Who, I'm like still taking incidental damage here and there. I don't know how much I can keep jaxing. That's what that's what I'm saving the limit break for, I guess. I think I can just kill this one. Yeah. I gotta <laughs> I gotta worry about that Mercury Hourglass. I just realized I was like, oh geez, he's got five health. Okay, but he blocked so. Hmm, I also have to worry about those angers. Shit. Oh, he doesn't die from that. Well, that's unfortunate. Shouldn't have played it then. I need like one more Jax, I feel. And then we limit break, and then I try to heal. Wow. Fuck, I can't kill him. Otherwise the fight's over. I have to kill him, otherwise I'm dead. Yeah, no, no. Wait. Yeah, no. Well, I think uh, I think that probably lost us the run. Maybe I got too greedy. Maybe I should have reapered sooner. Just got back what I could. Because we're not, we don't have a bonfire. Unless I unless I pull some miracle out of this store and don't die in the next two fights, somehow. Yeah, because that's twelve block. He's doing twenty-two damage. I can't play three attacks without killing him. On top of Flame Bearer. I also don't have the energy for Flame Bearer and three attacks since two of them cost two. Alright. GG. Just pray. Just pray. Mmm. Hmm. So that Reaper plan. <sighs> Double Thorn Boys. 
They're doing like 20 damage to me. Can I just kill this idiot? I can. Thank you. I don't know how what I'm I, I guess I like let Mercury Hourglass slowly kill them. I don't have enough like reliable block for that to be a workable solution though. boy. Yeah, this fight could be the end. It could be the end of an era. Wait, what am I headbutting? Disarm, I guess. Can I even, Jax? Yeah. Oh shit, maybe I should have kept him alive. For the dazes, considering the the feel no pain. Well, can't do anything now. Mercury Hourglass has got him. It's, a, it's like a lot of block. It's like a lot of block. It's like no way to adjust pen nib. Wow. <laughs> I can't even hit him. I I will die first. I'm pretty sure I'd take the damage before the heal. So I take six. Just end turn. Oh man, I really don't want to use the liquid bronze here. That might be literally the only way I get through this fight. Oh, right. Never mind. I have Orange Helcom. I didn't have to do that. Rip. Rip. Just let me break now. Um. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Take another five. Yep. Mm, he just keeps going. He just keeps going. If I take 19, go down to four. Then I gain 12. May as well just jacks, because I'm going to gain the, the health back. I'll be at one before I heal. And it'll also affect all my future attacks, so. Oh, it hits afterwards. Well, might have changed how some things worked. Man, can you imagine if we went into this fight at like full health? Doing a lot better. I just have to. Wait, no, I'm not even taking damage. Never mind. Got him. Probably didn't need a bronze potion there. Yeah, I don't know what we do. If we had an upgraded limit break, I'd kind of know what we do. Gain a bunch of strength, play Reaper to survive, but we it's not upgraded. So it's its jacks or nothing. Okay. I think I should hit you. It feels like way too much damage. It feels like an inappropriate lot, large amount of damage. Well... Shit. Okay. I can I can work with that. 45 damage. Can we not? Gonna put the trance back up top. Huh. Okay. Damn it! Fuck. Why you got why? 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 Well, that's the end of the run. GG. Lost it to Writhing Mass. Lost it to Spaghetti Man.
We got skeddied. Rip. All right. Let's move on over. The Silente. Obtain three random potions. Move a card from your deck. Ooh. I don't like these options. I guess it's three random potions and we hope to get like fruit juice and then two other good potions. It is like the top tier. Uh, the top tier potion situation. It's like two bonfires, two elites. Pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, let's do it. What's our boss? Mm. Those two then. Mr. McCaw. Mr. McCaw? As I understand, a macaw is a type of bird. And this guy macaws. He doesn't macaw, though. Maybe he should. What are we looking at next turn? Maybe lethal? Okay. We'll take the one damage here then. Ouch, my bones. That is not lethal. Uh, if I neutralize him, he's going to be at 21. Neutralize is going to knock him down to 16. He's going to take 9 damage, be at 7. It's not enough for one strike. I really don't want to use the draw potion here. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we got. gross um hold up nope we might still have it right no yeah 21 would knock him down to 50 there we go nice managed to navigate the fight only taking one damage cloak and dagger it's almost like a damage card can also be very very good later on so I'm gonna take it now, because I wanna. Can we just full block this? Instead of taking one here. Excuse me. Perfect. Well, not perfect, I mean. Could have blocked for one more, and then we could have had something else to turn our energy into damage, but... He hasn't buffed yet. I say right before he buffs. I guess Cloak and Dagger's not like really any good damage at all. It's quite rubbish as damage, really. Thank you. I was like, please give me a third strike. So we can hopefully kill him this turn. Was that all my strikes? No. Hmm. Well. Fine. I'll take one damage to Jaw Worm. Lose one health to Jaw Worm. like really soak an enemy in the damage predator who needs a drop potion when you got predator Laos in my house it's more likely than you think I guess it doesn't really matter which one I hit here um okay so that full blocks for me so that plus that kills. Perfect. Oh, and I still have energy left. I like it. And there's a predator at the bottom. Nope. Another predator. Woo. Woo. Versus dagger throw. Predator's a pretty good card draw. I'm taking another Predator. I'm not going to agree to the Serpent. He does not seem like a trustworthy fellow. Seems like the, the total opposite of a person you would trust ever. 
Really, double buffing. That's mm, annoying, to say the least. Um, I think we can get out of this without taking damage, though. And then he buffs again instead of attacking? Dang it. Do I have lethal? Nope. But I do have anti-lethal. Well, I guess he, he wasn't killing me anyway, so no matter what, we weren't taking damage. What would you call it? Not anti-lethal. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. Because it feels like it would only be anti-lethal if it was going to be lethal to begin with. Take another cloak and dagger. Probably upgrade neutralize, since it's our only source of weak in the deck so far. Yep. Okay. Lag Avulin. I think we just open up right now. Use the poison pot. Cool. I guess one problem with Cloak and Daggers, it does get hit twice by his Siphon Soul. Could just full block this. How good are, is our damage next turn if I do that though? Probably not super. Wish I had Survivor this turn. Hmm. Predator Survivor instead of like triple defend. Hmm. If I had Predator next turn, I think I'd be more at ease not playing it this turn. I think we Predator defend here. To help guarantee I get good damage on this t Oh, wait! He, right. Whoops! For some reason, I thought that was the Siphon Soul turn. Hmm. Never mind. I've, I've done this all wrong. Wow, double Predator. I can't, hmm, can't even play them both. That actually didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Dr draw it again, draw, draw it again, okay. I can do 17 damage. Hold up. Fire pot to prevent 11. Sure. Happy Flower is not bad. I don't know how well Finisher slots into our deck. We've got Cloak and Daggers and Predators, which let us draw more stuff. It's a lot better if we get a well-laid plans. Let's see if we can make it work. Do I nap? I just used both of my potions, so... I'm gonna go with yeah. Yeah, I think I nap. What's in the box? A pear! Apparently didn't need to nap! That was a pun. Intentional. FYI. Uh, yeah, let's remove a strike. And sally forth. Okay. Uh, we don't have any AoE. We do have a finisher. So... I get the full block. Yeah, hmm. I guess finisher's not that good since I have to pay one energy for these shivs. It does... Huh. Yeah. No. I did that entirely wrong. I shouldn't have taken the finisher at all. Finisher's terrible in this deck. That was also both of my predators too, I think. Right in hand, number one. Alright, two damage is not too bad. The dazes are gonna start piling in though. Hopefully we can kill him next turn. Maybe take a bit of damage. Two strikes or a predator. Strike cloak and dagger does it exactly. And gives me full block. I like it. Elegant. Accidental, I like it was it was in no one's control, but it happened. So I liked it. And nobody can stop me. Four energy that I can't use. Perfect. Uh, Predator's pretty good here since we get to actually see and play cards instead of merely being dazed. Um, hmm, should I kill him? 
Or do we trust in the heart of the car? Well, I have to draw Predator to kill him at this point. Which means I probably should have just knifed this guy. Farts. Yeah, that finisher's not... Not doing anything. Hmm. May have ruined the run. Well, I've got four energy, so I may as well do it like that. At least hitting him with that strike and that. At least I'm not getting hit. Boy, that's uh. Seven. Man, I thought five dazes was bad. I thought getting five dazes was bad. Seven dazes. Lord Almighty. Well, at least he wasn't attacking. That's always a plus. How. Are we on like turn 12? That happy flower has just like. been going off. Non-stop. Alright. Hmm, I wonder what all these are. Shivs and dazes. Shivs and dazes. Nope. Let's get rid of a daze. It doesn't matter. This fight should be over before we see it again. Cool. Got him. Okay. Whoa. I was gonna say, I think I have to pick up infinite blades for the finisher. And then there's, it's like, nope. Well-laid plans. Well-laid plans. It's even better with finisher. We still need something else to go with it, but... Ooh. I think we can take the shrooms. Excuse me. Um, Slime Tony does not make us vulnerable. I'm angering the mushrooms. We have a fossilized helix. It's a pretty good well-laid plans. Hold up. I should hit you. So now we're full blocking. I'll do 18 damage. Okay. I didn't want to kill him and... Oh, wait. What, uh, what was it? I didn't want to kill him because then I'd take more damage and I'd lose my helix. Okay, so I should be able to do this. And then that. Oh, whatever. He is hopefully buffing next turn. So I'm going to prevent this damage. Please buff. Cool. And, yeah. That should be the whole fight. I'm, I'd be super surprised if I didn't draw another damage card in seven cards. I'm not sure it's possible. Nice. I don't think we took damage. We just... Walked in, took their stuff. Mm, all out attack. Problem with all out attack is it ruins well laid plans. I think dagger spray is fine. One red boy. Can I even block him? I can. Who to thunk? Finishing the strike, do the same damage. Yeah, we can start building towards that finisher now that we have well-laid plans, because then we can hold it for big, big turns. We play lots of moves. Okay, gonna make me vulnerable, but I still have the fossilized helix. Just like, still full block. Okay. I'm waiting for his big attack? Hmm. Maybe he just doesn't deal as much damage as the Act 2 ones. Alright, here we go. Turns out he just died anyway. Got a potion. Alright. Oh boy. Yeah, infinite blades. Plus finisher. Which is good. Which is pretty good. I think I take the first infinite or er, first infinite blades over the second well laid plans, because Having one upgraded well-laid plans is better than having two unupgraded well-laid plans. Unless you have, like, Bird Face Urn or uh, Mummified Hand or something, which I don't. Deadly Poison is also really good, but we're not doing any poison stuff yet. So I won't worry about it here. Well, we have to play. I cannot refuse the wheel. Something good, something good. Please, please, Sergeant Jesus. Card remove. I'll take it. Now, what we need are upgraded Cloak and Daggers. So I need to, like, upgrade Finisher, upgrade the Cloak and Daggers. Cool. I don't think I need to nap here. 
I think upgrading finisher is more important now that I have an infinite blades. What about dagger spray? No. Um, we can kind of go ham because we can block his first big mega move with fossilized helix. Hmm, gross. Sure, keep it defend. Infinite blades on the bottom, as you do. I mean, how much could we block anyway? 20? I like, I, I'd have to lose the fossilized helix no matter what. Hmm, I want to play cloak and dagger strike finisher, but I think infinite blades is more important. So we'll just, we'll just do a little bit of damage like that. Hold on to the cloak and dagger, I guess. It does it does damage. Okay, he's gonna put five more slimes in the deck, which is unfortunate. Uh I don't have predator going off. Hmm. All right, well, this is it. Infinite Blades did give us, what, 12 extra damage this turn? I'm feeling and fat and sassy. Well, thank you for the follow, set of Maul. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. Gave us 12 extra damage this turn, and I played, what, two other shivs before? So it's given us 20 damage so far? So we would have split at 54 instead of 34. That's, that's pretty good. I think I want the Predator. 34 is an outstanding split. Like, this man's... Hold up. I can just split him again right now. That's a lot of slime. Just, like, don't... Don't need to even take damage here. 15 is not, like, an incredible split, but... You know. It's what happens when, uh... When the big man put 10 slimes in your deck. Uh, no second predator, unfortunately. Uh, we can knock him down a peg. I think it's fine if I take, like, one damage. Oh, I don't even have to. This fight's probably going to be basically over by the time I cycle back through the deck. So I think it's preventing the one damage. Oh, baby. Um, actually, maybe I should have held on to the defend. That probably would have been better. I forgot I have well-laid plants out. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, would that have been better. I have 14 damage. Hmm. All right, well, kill this guy. Get Shivin. Take a bunch of damage. Do I want an Essence of Steel here? Oh, I could have Essence of Steel last turn. Got rid of a slime. Hmm. Yeah. Drink it. It'll only lose one charge. I think. I'm pretty sure this guy should hit first, right? Yeah. Well, that's the first time we've lost health since, like, here, so... It's not bad. Ooh, you dead. You split at 17. This is gonna do 16 damage, knocking you down to 11. I think that's fine. Hold the straight. Maybe I should have held Cloak and Dagger. Hmm. Ooh, Dagger Spray's a pretty nice one here. And then I won the fight. GG. Nightmare and Venom. What would I even Nightmare in this deck? Nothing I can think of. We have Well Laid Plans. If I upgrade Well Laid Plans... We can hold on to Phantasmal Killer and Finisher, and just like, have a have a really, really big boy turn. Although, mm, it's like, I, I want to get the Cloak and Daggers upgraded. I'd have to get the Well-Laid Plans upgraded for that to work, or get a Runic Pyramid here. And Venom... Like, and Venom also kind of works with what we're doing, since like, playing a lot of attacks means you put a lot of poison. I think I like Phantasmal Killer better, though. Yeah. What's in the box? 
Well, well, look who suddenly doesn't even need well laid plans again. That's happened like three silent runs in a row. Last time was the the double grand finale, which didn't work out because I don't I don't have the brain power to play that deck against the chosen. The days just threw me off, threw me way off. Ring Dome is pretty risky. There's something to be said with Ring of the Serpent. Drawing one extra card per turn increases our chances of getting big finishers. Although, hmm, I think I think it's the pyramid. We picked a card that kind of wants the pyramid real bad. Especially if we hold on to shivs. I'm taking it. I'm taking the pyramid. Okay, we have the pyramid. I've got a pretty decent selection of defensive relics. Happy Flower is great. Man, remember remember back when Runic Pyramid made you draw one less card a turn? Pepperidge Farm remembers. It was still pretty good. Now it's just like... Bah! Let's do... Man, had I known we were getting Pyramid, I might have taken the Nightmare. Because then we, then we just wait. Then we just wait for Rayform or Catalyst, and then kind of go completely nuts. Alright. We've got a bunch of money. How are we feeling about Act 2 Elites? Mm, Predators are a lot worse now that we get to hold on to a bajillion cards. We're, st we're still not on 4 energy either. We have no defensive scaling at all. Hmm. Yeah, we're not great at preventing damage. Hopefully we end up being decent at dealing damage. Like, these would have to be upgraded. Yeah. I think... Hmm. Or... Hmm. Or I Cloak and Dagger don't play the Shiv and hold them up. Because I was thinking, it's like, without upgrading this, how do I even play this? And then a bunch of, like, Shivs from Cloak and Daggers and then Finisher because Phantasmal Killer plus Finisher is already my 3 energy. The answer is we can hold the shivs. Alright. Next turn your attack deal, attacks deal double damage. So I guess that's the plan is to like hold on to shivs? Hmm. Having a bit more card discard might be kind of handy as well. So we like, the plan is like hold five shivs and finisher and then phantasmal killer. Or wait, no, phantasmal killer, we have to play the turn before. Okay, so it can still work. And just like, deal, I don't even know how much damage. So clearly we want relics where playing lots of attacks does stuff. So, pen nib, maybe even nunchaku. Um, ornamental fan, and then the big boys, Shuriken and Kunai. Or, well, I guess Pendib is a pretty big boy when you've got Finisher. Although, it's a little hard to manipulate, because Finisher, you just want to play every other attack you can play first. But if you want to Pendib it, trying to manipulate it, be like, okay, how many cards am I going to play on that turn? Yada, yada, yada. Um, we have a Dagger Spray, and not much else for dealing with the Gremlins. Book of Stabbing stabs us a whole lot and puts wounds in our deck that I can't get rid of. And I don't think Slavers goes like swimmingly. It'll probably be okay. Okay for Slavers, that is. Hmm. Kind of like the, the bonfire placement. There's the only other elite is the big boy. I'm not digging that. Not digging that one. Wow. I'm not getting very good act maps. It's just not happening. Okay. One shelled parasite. Greetings. Why do I, oh. I was like, why do I have five energy? It's like, I don't. I play well-laid plans, which is a free card. Hold the shiv. Hold the shiv. Hold it. I have an extra energy I can't use. Cool. 
And I can't get rid of this predator. Oh, right. Mm. Here we go. I think maybe I just finish her here. How much damage am I about to do? 8 times 6 is 48. He won't die. Man, if we had like ornamental fan or something. So I'm gonna. Oh. Right. Frail. Yeah, I probably should have just de dealt an extra 14 damage. Why is my game getting choppy? Do not chop game. Coding overloaded. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how this happens. I don't know why this is happening. Oh my god, stop. Um, I actually don't want to draw more cards. Oh my god. My whole computer is like having a complete shit fit. Hold up. I don't know. I don't know what's what is causing these issues. Let me open up Task Manager real quick. What is causing you the troubles? Hmm. Apparently nothing. Only using like half my CPU, only using like half my RAM. Don't know. Maybe it was just a momentary hiccup. Ah, I could have played that Phantasmal Killer. Hold up. I might still have lethal anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have absolute over lethal. You know, I'm not sure that Phantasmal Killer is really doing a whole lot for us. Take the blade dance? No. <laughs> Accuracy plus? I mean... Regular accuracy isn't great. Accuracy plus? It's like 9 damage shivs. We have an infinite blades in our deck. That's some decent scaling damage. I'm actually gonna take it. We're picking accuracy. Ooh. Our deck could actually do this. We'd have to draw really well. But it could do it. Nope. Plate. Holy fuck. I don't know why it's being so jittery. <sighs> yeah, problem is that I have to play the Phantasmal Killer like the turn before, and I don't know... It's like, god, this is so much damage. I think I just have to kill him. I haven't played Infinite Blades, that's why. I was like, where's my other Shiv? Hold up. It's like 8 damage. 8 plus 4 is 12. Plus 6. 12 plus 12 is 24. And that'll be, what? 8 times 4. That'll be 32 damage. Okay. So if I dagger spray, I should be able to just put everything else on him. Yeah, I don't have the energy to like cast Phantasmal Killer on any turn ever. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, I did this wrong. I've done this poor right. Dagger spray costs an energy. For some reason I thought I could play both the strikes. Well, well. Who wanted to win this run anyway? Not me, apparently. At least he died screaming. That's always a plus. Yeah, no, I filled my deck with bad cards. That's, uh, that might be the problem. It's like, cast accuracy just to get it out of my hand forever?
Yes, play infinite blades. For funsies. I mean, I played the accuracy, so why not? I should be able to kill him. Oh yeah, he's he's all the way dead. Mm, yeah, no, we're leaving now. I had uh, I had higher estimations for how well this deck would do. Man, well laid plans, opening hand every time in the Runic Pyramid deck. I love it. It's almost prophetic. I probably should have hit the idiot who was buffing. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm not taking any damage here yet. Oh, I probably should have saved. Should save the shivs, maybe. Yeah, so that damage is going to get prevented by the fossilized helix. And now we're in the danger zone. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer. So I can knock down this fool. And I can knock down that fool. Take no damage. Okay. That's a start. Okay, if I do it like this... Cool. Oh. Should've played the accuracy first. Okay, we should have this here. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Well, at least I didn't take damage against the birds. I don't think I... This is literally just take prepared to get cards out of my hand. Uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Caltrops isn't bad. Crippling Cloud isn't bad. Concentrate! Is actually what I want with Runic Pyramid. Absolutely. Well, we shouldn't have taken. A f we shouldn't have taken prepared at that point. Um, yeah, I need to remove. I am going to take Predator out because I can at least cast a strike. Um, grab a potion belt. Yeah. Okay, we have some chance. Keep the bag of preparation in hand for now. Am I ever going to actually play Phantasmal Killer? Oh, right. Right, we're gonna have to keep... Oh, hey! Well, if this costs more than zero in the future, I might not be able to actually use this for its intended purpose of... Eww. Well, that one's just... Just go away. Goodbye. Be gone. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that two-cost finisher. Mm, concentrate for one. Juicy! I'm going to full block. Can I get zero-cost accuracy? That would be cool. One-cost accuracy. If zero-cost infinite blades, I'll take it. So... Our only block is expensive. Hold up, what if I do this? Like, get rid of those. Just so I can block five damage. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Forget every time. Well, I. Huh. Yep, that's. That sure is the way that cookie crumbles. Just play well laid plans to get rid of it. I can just play the strike later. Do I want to hold on? Hold up. Get rid of the dagger spray.
Wait, what is... Okay. There we go. Because we have infinite blades out. Now I just like hope for a reasonable finisher? Nope. Nope. That's fine. No problem. Hmm. Our discard card costs a bunch. There. Yeah. Hmm. It's not, not much I could do about that one. Yo, Cloak and Dag. Yeah, may as well just, just hit him. That seems that seems like a pretty reasonable way to, to win fights. You just just hit him. Finisher causes zero. I need to get cards out of my hand first. Well, I think we won the fight. Um, didn't have it could have been any attack. Didn't re ghost in the jar. We have a runic pyramid. <laughs> okay. Okay. This problem is still Phantasmal Killer. What do I do? I like constant. Uh... It's like, do I upgrade Concentrate or do I upgrade Phantasmal Killer at this point? I'm pretty sure we take the bullet time. I think we have to. At that point, because with bullet time, I don't have to save up shivs. I can just like cast the cloak and daggers. The problem is <sighs> to get any use out of this phantasmal killer, I'd have to play it the turn before. Yeah, I think the I think the phantasmal killer was a mistake. Alright, well we have to nap. As much as I'd love to upgrade some cards, gotta nap. Okay. Uh this is terrifying. Man, I really wish you weren't all hitting me right here. There's no point in playing the survivor. Either Fossilized Helix blocks 9 or blocks 1. In fact, I may as well just stab him again. Block the full 11. Yeah. And take 12. Juicy. I need to hit this man. He's about to go nuts. Please summon next turn. Okay, cool. Oh, he has 10 block on him. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Well, that still kills him. Can't use this concentrate, unfortunately. I feel like I should probably just get cards out of my hand and hold on to the concentrate for now. Here we go. Here we go. There's a bullet time in my hands. Should I just Phantasmal Killer anyway? Just like now? Like, I have a Predator. Like, this is all gonna be free. Yeah, Phantasmal Killer here. Stab that idiot. Um, actually, stab that idiot again. In turn. Okay. And then we play bullet time. Boy, oh boy, is this gonna hurt. Uh, oh right, doubled. I was like, why is this doing 18 damage? It's because I played a card. That, uh, that's what the effect of the card is. That's, uh, that old phantasmal killer. Yeah, I need more block, so... Should this be the ghost turn? I have 46 health, he's doing... 48 damage. Good. Looks like that was the ghost turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's Phantasmal kill her now. Nope. And put a shiv in my hand, then put a shiv in my hand. End turn. Uh, I think I just won the fight! Oh boy, did I just win the fight. I didn't even need the finisher, but... Woo! Okay. Okay, bullet time? 
It's making things work out a bit. Bullet time plus concentrate. Bronze scales. I like it. I don't want these. I don't want these. I gotta get through. I gotta get to like here without dying. Yikes. Okay. We'll nap again. We'll nap again. What's in the box? Ah, uh, yeah, Regal Pillow. Dang it. Should go. Oh, I can't go that way. Dang it. Oh, I have to take like four more floor fights. Rip. Rip. That, that's a complete total lack of block cards. Um, I guess we haven't picked up a block card in a while. Pick like nine cards that don't block. Have we been seeing any worthwhile block cards? I don't think so. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. There's a bullet time in our hand. Um, hmm. Okay. So I think we have to concentrate here. What do I discard? Strike, strike, strike. And then Phantasmal Killer next turn? Hoping for those, like, Dagger Sprays and... Or, like, Phantasmal Killer here. Shit. Hold up, I need to figure out. I don't have enough cards to discard. Or I guess I do. I just don't Phantasmal Killer here. Yeah. Bronze Scale's putting in work though. Okay. I think this is where I Phantasmal Killer. Bullet time next turn. Yep. Oh, he's gonna get like a gigantic shield. How much do I even care? Not at all. See you later. That one. But we're plus. Yep, 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 yep. Um, we didn't actually take any damage. Or, no, that's not true. We took 16 damage. That's a complete lie. I was- I was remembering our health before the- the bonfire. I was like, no, no, we- we took a bunch. I love that well-laid plans. Do I just, like... Play the Cloak and Dagger here. Phantasmal Killer. Wait. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sixteen times three, what is that? It's like forty eight damage. Hmm. Oh, I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up. Well, cool. <sighs> you know, I'd probably win a lot more runs if I didn't make mistakes like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a toughie. Did discard bullet time? Oh, man. Are we gonna actually die to the bird boys? The answer might surprise you. Surprise me. It might be yes. I don't think there's any way we survive this. It's like 32 damage. Hmm. Footwork plus is nice, but too little too late. I screwed up. I screwed up. Could have killed the back boy, taken less damage. Could have distributed my damage better. Could have played my attacks better. Could have played better. Could have played better. But you know, first step to fixing your mistakes is recognizing them. And I knew what I did wrong almost as soon as I did it. 
because they had no energy left to play finisher and I was like well yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway unfortunately it's that time once again so if you liked what you saw feel free to both follow and subscribe here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms link down below the next stream will be at tomorrow night from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you don't know what time that is in your time zone that is approximately 22 hours from right now at that time we will not be continuing our never-ending quest to slay the spire because it is Dark Souls cosplay time tomorrow if you're only interested in slay the spire we will be continuing uh, Friday night and then all the way until next Thursday night it's on my schedule the Thursday nights are when I do not slay the spire stuff but um, you can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've played on YouTube and BitChute. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is linked down below. And Looney Boy Streamer is so kindly linked in the chat himself. Until next time, have a good night. And we gotta raid somebody. <laughs>